For years now, scientists have been exploring space with the hope that they will find any signs of another planet that has life. Because of this, they've been keeping an eye on some of the worlds that seem habitable. They've studied their atmospheres, the surfaces, and even the emissions, if any, that the planet has. However, the James Webb Space Telescope, which is said to be the strongest telescope ever launched, has recently uncovered that some sort of artificial light may come from Proxima b. This is one of the planets that the space agencies are watching. But could it really have found artificial lighting? Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll talk about the James Webb Telescope's discovery of artificial light from Proxima b. But before we continue, make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on what's happening in space. And with that, did the James Webb Telescope really find artificial light on this planet? There's something weird that's been going on in our neighboring solar system, Proxima Centauri. This solar system is only about 4 light years away from our solar system. For years, scientists have been keeping an eye on this solar system, and they've recently picked up some unusual signals from one of the planets in the solar system. Proxima b released some strange anomalies, which have been dubbed artificial light. This is something that the brightest minds in the space community have been unable to solve or even come up with a solution to. But what could this really be? Could it be an indication of intelligent life on the planet? Does the recent discovery in the neighboring solar system mean there's civilization there? Well, it's not impossible. Back in 2020, there was a strange signal originating from the direction of Proxima Centauri, which is the closest neighboring star. The signal, which was given the name BLC1, is still being analyzed by scientists to ensure that it was not just an echo from one of our own civilizations. This is because it's not the first time that it's happened and it's turned out to be an echo. Given this, why not look into the planets of Proxima Centauri? If you were in space, the most obvious sign that people are living on Earth is the glow from the night side of the planet. This glow comes from the emitted light that escapes into the cosmos. The only major problem is that our telescopes are not yet powerful enough to see if there is light on distant worlds. However, most researchers are testing the full capability of the James Webb Telescope, which is a next-generation telescope. They discovered that if the telescope was advanced enough, it would be possible to observe if another civilization had the lights on. The probability of Alpha Centauri, which is also known as Proxima Centauri, having any techno signatures has led to the launch of a new study that is focusing on the detectability of any artificial light on Proxima Centauri b. From what we know so far, the planet is situated in the habitable zone, which is roughly similar in mass to the Earth and orbits the nearest star. This makes it a world where we can hope to learn a lot as new instruments such as the James Webb Telescope are coming into play. The new study points us to Louvoir, or Large UV Optical IR Surveyor. This is a multi-wavelength space-based observatory, kind of like the James Webb Telescope that has been planned for launch in 2035. Elisa Tabor of Stanford University and Avi Loeb of Harvard claim that a tidally locked planet with a permanent night side would need artificial lighting to support a technological culture. The coincidence of another civilization developing around one of our neighboring stars is pretty unlikely. It's a very long shot, but if a civilization grew up somewhere else, it could be shown by the things in the world chosen to be studied. There are several ways in which we can find out whether alien technology actually exists on another planet. A great example is that we may be able to see the light of a distant world waver with the movement of a massive constellation of satellites. This is exactly where our world is headed, with the launch of more and more satellites into orbit. Another way to discover alien technology is by looking at the atmospheric pollution, which may be detectable from a nuclear conflict. But even if these signs of technology did happen, they could have been caused by natural things like debris in orbit or a comet hitting. 
Elisa Tabor of Stanford University and Avi Loeb of Harvard University took the James Webb Telescope for a virtual alien light hunting test drive to find out whether it was powerful enough. However, since they did it when the James Webb Telescope was not yet launched, the research was mainly to test the specs on paper regarding the telescope's capabilities. The virtual James Webb Telescope was trained on Proxima b. This is one of the confirmed planets in the Proxima Centauri system that could possibly host a civilization. It's also not that far from Earth, just 4.25 light years away. Proxima b is a rocky world that is in the habitable zone of the M-class red dwarf star Proxima Centauri. This star is about 12% the mass of our Sun. However, Proxima b is heavier than Earth, having a mass that is 1.6 times that of Earth and a radius that is 1.3 times of Earth. Even with this massive size, it only takes about 11.2 days to circle Proxima Centauri, covering a distance of approximately 7 million kilometers. This is just 5% of what the Earth has to cover when orbiting the Sun. When Tabor and Loeb were performing the test, they scaled the artificial illumination to a fraction of the solar illumination reflecting from the planet's day side. If the scale was 0%, that means that the planet's night side is completely dark, with no artificial illumination whatsoever. On the other hand, if the scale was at 100%, this means that the night side of the planet is as equally bright as the day side. The type of light that the hypothetical civilization on Proxima b used was assumed to be similar to LEDs on Earth, meaning that they have a distinct artificial spectrum. The result was that the artificial nightside illumination of Proxima b reaches about 5% of the natural dayside illumination. On the other hand, the James Webb Telescope could detect artificial light with 85% certainty. This means that if the artificial illumination reached 9%, the James Webb Telescope's detection confidence would rise to 95%. 5% may not seem like a lot, however, this is a star that we're talking about. Even though it's said that Proxima Centauri is about 20,000 times dimmer than our Sun, that is still a lot of light. If you were to compare ARAF's artificial illumination, it's only 0.001% of reflected stellar illumination. This simply means that if Proxima b has a civilization that glows like us, then the James Webb Telescope would not detect it. For them to be detected, those lights would have to be about 500 times brighter than ours. It's highly likely that it may be tidally locked because of how close Proxima b flies to its host star. This means that the planet always faces the star while the other is in eternal darkness. If a civilization exists on a tidally locked planet, then it may need to focus more on illuminating infrastructure. Tabor and Loeb hypothesized that for them to achieve this, they would have to use some very bright orbital mirrors that would reflect the sunlight on the day side to the night side of the planet. If they were to do this, then they could be spotted by our telescopes. It is clear that if there's any sort of other civilization existing on another planet out there, the James Webb Telescope would be able to detect it. The telescope would use its mirrors to find any evidence of artificial lighting on those other planets to fully determine whether there is another civilization. However, if the James Webb Telescope were to spot artificial light, that light would have to be very bright. Do you think there may be artificial lighting on Proxima b? Do you think another civilization could exist on Proxima b? Feel free to let us know in the comments section below. Also, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on what's going on in space. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.